Hey everybody, what's up? It's Finesse here with another Cali Faces video for y'all. Today I'm talking to Snoopy Blue, who's a rapper out of Southern California. I'm sure a lot of you know who he is, or you've heard some of his music, but today you're gonna get a whole lot more from him than just a song. I met him here in Compton, California, where we talked about everything from the music business, his career, gang life, California living, all that. Check it out. Well, how'd you get the name, Snoopy Blue? Um, well, as you can see, most of the time you see me, I'm gonna be wearing blue, so. My name always been Snoop growing up, but then, you know, one of my homegirls, you know, just seeing me one day, was like, Snoopy Blue. And, you know, she kept saying it, just rung a bell, and I ran with it. But my name always been Snoop. You're from California, right? Yeah, Cali, L.A., East Side. The East Side? Born and raised. <laughs> That's right. What was it like being born out here and living growing up out here? Uh, I mean... That's kind of hard to explain, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, it has its ups and downs, you know what I mean? I lost my mom at a young age, so, you know what I mean? That kind of like stunted my growth, you know what I mean? Made me like grow a little faster and like move a little slower in certain aspects of life, you know what I mean? But I mean, it's cool, I love it, you know what I mean? I wouldn't want to be nowhere else. Well, I know a lot of times the media puts a negative stereotype on uh, Southern California. So do you think that's an accurate stereotype I mean, from where you grew up? It's, it's negativity, you know what I mean? But, you know, like I said, as far as the gang situation, you know what I mean? A lot of that shit, it ain't even like that no more, you know what I mean? A lot of fools is getting along today. A lot of hoods is getting along, you know what I mean? You do have, you know what I'm saying, the bullshit here and there. But overall, you know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't as much drama as the media might portray. Like, you can't really go where you want to go and do what you want to do because you can, you know what I mean? It's all about who you are as a person, if you're a real nigga real female, you know what I'm saying, then you, you can basically make moves, you know what I'm saying, but if niggas see the, see the bitch in you, then it's going to be hard for you, not just California, that's anywhere, so, I mean, it's cool. Yeah, I'm where I want to go, this ain't my hood right here, we, we doing this interview right here, I'm, I'm in Compton, you know what I'm saying, I mean, it's cool, you know what I mean, I basically make moves, my name's Snoopy Blue, I stay in blue, but I really don't run into situations to where I feel uncomfortable, you know what I mean, people open their arms and show me love and I show it right back. Did you get your music start out here? Yeah, yeah. I basically started writing music at a young age, you know what I mean? It was a way for me to release and express myself, you know what I mean? When I lost my mom or whatever, you know what I mean? It was just a way for me to open up without, you know what I'm saying, personally talking to somebody and, and, and hearing their feedback and, and, and their little, you know, ones and twos, you know what I'm saying? It was just a way for me to just be to myself. And then besides that, I mean, you know, I started loving it, you know what I mean? Just, selling tapes in junior high, high school, you know what I mean? And it's been on ever since. And then just coming up, has music changed since you got started? Yeah, music changed a lot, you know what I mean? But, I mean, everything evolved, you know what I mean? Life period, so, I mean, like I said, I just stay true to myself. And one thing about me, you know what I mean? People, you know, uh, tend to want to put me in a box. Like, if they see me, they see the blue, name should be blue. They want to say, he a crib, and that's all you do, but I do. My, my range is wide open, you know what I mean? It's all about what you want to hear, you know what I mean? I got I got different songs that just talk about life, period, you know what I mean? And life experiences, the good and the bad, you know what I mean? That was one of my questions. I know a lot of your songs do talk about gang life. So I wanted to ask you, is that pretty much what your life's about? Or, I mean, you answered that right now, but I did want to ask you that. A lot of your songs that are out yeah. are about gang that's, life. That's what my life's about, but then it's not what it's about, you know what I mean? It's just like, that's the songs that people blow up, you know what I mean? I got other songs that's, you know what I mean, that's right there that probably came out at the same time, but those are just the songs that people cling to because what people fail to realize is there really is a market for gangster rap, you know what I mean? So when they hear a certain song, you know, people, they go to that one instead of the other one. I got other songs that's, that's talking about other stuff, you know what I'm saying? You know, real life and, 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 and forgiveness and thanking the Lord for making it, you know what I'm saying? And, Mm -hmm. You know, other things I've been through in life, but it's just people, when people hear that certain mentality, they, they blow it up because that's what they want to hear because it's really not nobody doing it because people feel it's not a market or I, I'm not going to say it's not a market, but people scared of it, you know what I mean, because of the element it brings. But it's a big old market for gangster rap out there. When they hear it, that's what they, that's what they go to, you know what I mean? But I got other songs out there, so I mean, my life ain't just based on... You know what I mean? The, the gang life, but I, I do represent it, you know what I mean? So that I can give a real inside and, and not the fake and phony shit that y'all might hear or see from somebody else. What kind of music are you working on now? Um, well, I don't want to drop the name of my, my, my uh, new up and coming stuff, but uh, I mean, it's just like 
you know, the last, the last, you know, we got the CD, the last one I dropped mm -hmm. right there, you know what I'm saying, my life, the soundtrack is basically a soundtrack of my life, you know what I mean, and it's, um, I got songs on here like Get It, Grind, Hustle Hard, you know what I mean, Stupid, but then I got more serious songs like Thank You, you know what I mean, uh, Hood Life, you know what I mean, uh, When It's Over, you know what I mean, so I just, man, it's just whatever I feel at the moment, you know what I mean, when the beat come on, I let the music talk to me and I talk back. I don't just go to the studio like, oh, I'm gonna make this type of song, or I'm just, you know what I mean, it's just like whatever comes to me. Okay, cool. It just come natural, really. You know what, I mean? what do you think about the people that say West Coast music is gone or not popping right now? I just think they're not listening hard enough because it's a lot of it's a lot of artists out here. You know what I mean? That's really doing their thing, and it's a lot of good music out here. You know what I mean? You ain't gotta be stuck in one box. You know what I mean? If you wanna hear a certain type of music, it's out here. They just not really, you know what I mean? Giving us the chance to be heard. You know what I mean? It's just like you know, it's like I said, life recycles. You know what I mean? It was like this. Back in the days, for NWA and Easy, you know what I mean, that era, Ice T and all that, you know what I mean. So we just going through that again. It's gonna come back around and then when the spotlight come to us, they gonna see, man. I mean, we the ones who created this, and everybody really copying off us. Everything you hear is is a copy off us. You know what I mean? It's good music out there, club music, all that. I know a couple years back you had a, a hit with with Spider Lope, Beautiful World. Are you guys still? World, what up, my nigga? <laughs> Are you guys still doing music together? Um, yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's like he doing his thing, I'm doing my thing, you know what I mean? And that's just, that's just, get that saw, you know what I mean? It ain't no, no beefs or nothing, you know what I'm saying? That's my homie, we holler all the time from the same neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Of course, me and being me, you know what I'm saying? I'm my own man, trying to stand on my own too. Okay, I'm sure a lot of people want you guys to do more music together, right? Because that was a hot yeah, song. Y'all gonna, gonna hear more music. Matter of fact, I got, I got, we got an album together that nobody ever heard, you know what I mean? I got an album that I did that nobody ever heard, you know what I mean? I'm going to start leaking some of that shit out, you know what I mean? But it's a lot of material we did that nobody ever heard. We got songs, we got, man, songs and songs and songs together, you know what I mean? But we gonna, we gonna drop, we gonna hit y'all with some new shit. Like I said, I'll be hollering at my nigga, he out of town right now, you know what I'm saying? Taking care of his uh, personal, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we gonna drop some shit, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to, you know, stand on my own too right now and just make, build my own foundation right now. Shout out to my nigga Smurf, you know what I'm saying? My nigga Pipe the Snipe, Bigfoot, the whole movement, you know what I'm saying? And my niggas. It's like the real niggas that's out here that's gang banging and been through it and all that. Them niggas trying to find a way out as far as like, you know what I mean? Provide for their family and, 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 and raise their kids in a better environment, you know what I mean? They ain't out here with that goofy shit. These niggas, this new age gang banging and all that, and these niggas out here on this goofy shit, man, niggas need to be trying to build bridges. Because the real niggas, the G niggas, and Little homies and all that, man. Niggas that's been in jail and all that, man. Niggas been met niggas from other hoods and built bonds. Niggas fuck with niggas and all that. Make money together and all that. Smoke weed, fuck bitches together and all that shit. Y'all fucking up some real shit doing that bullshit. Some real shit. Because there's real niggas out here watching. And real niggas really don't get down how some of these niggas get down. A real nigga ain't gonna broadcast his business. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna be talking about what he's gonna do and what he did. You know what I'm saying? Implicating himself. You know what I'm saying? A nigga on parole ain't about to violate himself by posting some shit on Facebook or Twitter saying, you know what I mean, I'm gonna kill a nigga or I'm selling dope over here and all that bullshit. That's 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 fake shit. You know what I mean? That's that's bullshit. You know what I mean? And it's just like I don't do that shit. You know what I mean? I had niggas hit me on Facebook asking me about crip shit and wanna get put on and all that shit all the time. I don't even, sometimes I don't even answer back, but sometimes I get mad and just Tell a nigga, like, man, what is you doing, my nigga? Who the fuck you think you talking to, my nigga? I don't even know who you are. You know what I mean? Like, so, <laughs> miss me with the bullshit, my nigga. Niggas ask me where I'm from and all that shit on Facebook, my nigga. If you, if you don't know where I'm from, then why is you even on my shit, my nigga? You should know where I'm from, nigga. Listen to my music, my nigga.